Deep Blue vs Kasparov Chinook vs Maron Tinsley And now AlphaGo vs Lee Sado The final game concluded on 15th March 2016 with AlphaGo winning 4 over 1 against Lee Sado Artificial Intelligence has finally solved the trinity of the hardest board games ever existed in human history. But what is the significance of it, you may ask? Well, Elon Musk said on Twitter that AlphaGo's victory is a 10 year lead for AI. DeepMind, the company that created AlphaGo, has announced using this technology on healthcare, smartphone, and robotics. And most of all, in my own personal opinion, it's a death of beauty and elegance in Go. But to understand all of that, let's go to the start. What is Go? Go is a board game with two players pitting against each other on a board with 19 by 19 intersecting lines. The players contest each other by playing on the intersections with simple black and white stones. Go in direct translation for Mandarin is called the surrounding chess. The rules are quite simple actually. The player who surrounds the most territory wins. Each Go stone has no inherent value to itself and all the stones are equal and it's completely up to the players on how to use them. After a series is announced, Lee Sado declared that he will sweep the games convincingly 5-0. And for all of us Go players, we thought the same thing too. There is absolutely no chance that AI can defeat a high ranking Go player. Unlike chess or checkers, Go cannot be solved by brute force. It is said the amount of Go moves possible is more than the amount of atoms in the universe. Go is often thought as a reflection of life and an expression of oneself. To be a good player, skill and technique are not enough. We need intuition, creativity, experience, spirit, and many more human elements. And these human elements are things that AI cannot simulate. And yet, here we are. You can imagine the shock of all the Go fans around the world when AlphaGo took the first game. Could it be that just by code calculations and methodology, Go can indeed be solved? Well, if this is true, then creativity and intuition does not play a part the artistic value of Go simply do not exist at all. And before I know it, AlphaGo has won 3 games over Lee Sado. Some players despair and others grieve. If perfection can be achieved just by calculations, then beauty and elegance of Go has just truly died. Game 4 was looking just as hopeless. AlphaGo as black has an overwhelming lead over Lee Sado's white. But then something happened. A 1 in a million chance happened. Move 78 happened. In an impossible situation, White escaped the enclosed black middle area, and White is suddenly revived. And Lee Sado won the fateful game 4. The famous Go players start calling Move 78 the God's Move. Others took to calling it something a bit more dramatic, like the Humanity's Last Stand, the bot confusing move, or the short circuiting move. But I prefer something a bit simpler Hope. This hitter walked into a conference room receiving a massive applause and more congratulations than any game he has ever won in his life before. The sunny bleak and gloomy clouds clouding the gold world has dissipated and everyone was cheering twice as hard for this in game 5. Well, ultimately he lost by 2.5 points, but this is the closest result I've ever seen thus far. AlphaGo is suddenly not that insurmountable war that we thought it was. This proves that Go is still quite alive, and humanity is not quite done just yet. Well, for now anyway. I'll be back.